Hi, I'm Brian Phillips with Swell Guy Customs, and today I'm gonna show you how to make your very own do-it-yourself costume using a mask and a pair of shoes. With a plain white mask like this, it's really versatile and you can use a lot of different designs to get the costume you're looking for. Today, I'm going to focus on the new Joker film starring Joaquin Phoenix. It's a story of his origin and his slow demise into madness, and it has a very distinct style that I think will fit really well with both the mask and the custom shoes. So without any further explanation, let's jump right into it. So today we're working with a pair of Vans skate highs. They're mostly canvas, but there's a few leather areas that we're going to prep real quick. First I want to start with the lighter colors, which is the color of his vest, which is an orangey yellow gold color. So for that I am going to mix buttercup, yellow, and 50% of Too Soft. So the reason we mix our paint with Too Soft is that it thins out the paint and soaks into the fabric instead of just clumping on top of it so that the shoe keeps its flexibility and softness. So the reason I'm starting with the lighter color is that in case I get it in places I didn't mean to, I can always just cover it with the darker color, no problem. Now that we got the paint on, before moving on to the next color, I'm gonna heat set it into the canvas using this heat gun. Some people ask if they can use a hair dryer. It is possible, but most hair dryers don't reach the recommended temperature of about three to 400 degrees. It only reaches to about the 200 degree area, so you might have to use it longer, but your best bet is just to use the heat gun whenever using canvas or fabric materials. The next color we're gonna work on is the red burgundy color of his suit jacket and pants. So I'm gonna use a mix of raspberry and red to try to match that color. So now for the final color, I just mixed some green and white to some aqua eight, and I'll just paint the Vans wave and the inside of the shoe. Uh, it's important to always go back and revisit some of the tighter areas, some of the corners where white might show to give it a full, clean, finished look. So we've got all the colors down. It's looking just like his outfit in the movie, but I'm not done just yet. I wanna take it to the next level by adding a little something that I think will make it pop. Music plays a big part in the movie. There's a lot of classic songs from Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole, all talking about smiling and laughing that kind of play with the general theme of the movie. So I'm gonna take some fire red and apply some of those key lines and lyrics from the movie onto the side of the shoe. Our custom sneakers are finished, but we're not done just yet. We've got to make a mask to match. 
In order to customize this mask, our first step is to prep it, and we're not gonna prep it in the traditional way that we would with a shoe. Because it's made out of hard plastic, we first have to rough it up a bit with some sandpaper, and then apply some adhesion promoter to help the paint stick and last longer. We got the mask sanded down, roughed up. Next, we just gotta add some adhesion promoter to the plastic to help the paint adhere to it better. You can find adhesion promoter at your local auto shop or online. All it takes is just a couple coats, let it dry in between, and the paint will be ready to go. The adhesion promoter is on. Now, we gotta put down a primer coat of flat white mixed with a little bit of Too Hard. And because I'm putting it through the airbrush to get even coverage, I'm gonna put some Too Thin. So I'm gonna take some light gray, some too hard, some too thin, and I use that to accentuate some of the features on the mask. So we got the primer coats and some of the features down. The last thing to do is add the face paint. So I'm gonna take Aqua 8, mix it with a little bit of too hard so it sticks to the plastic better. the nose, mouth, and eyebrows. I'll do fire red, it's a little bit too hard. We've got our mask painted, our shoes customized. All together, we've got ourselves a nice, simple Joker costume that you can take to any Halloween party or trick-or-treating you plan to do on Halloween night. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brian Phillips with Swell Guy Customs. You can catch me on Instagram and Facebook at Swell Guy Customs. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you next time.